I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. <gasps> 60 beans. What is up? It's your boy and you're bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we got a banger. So we've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of modifications on the outside of the truck. So we got to show the inside a little bit of love. I have a modification that I need to do on the inside of the truck that fits this exact theme. Every time I see it, I get a little glimpse of the tires, all terrains, and it just looks so, so nasty. Or good, or good nasty. I've been trying really hard not to get that in the frame because I know someone's gonna be like, I couldn't tell which one is your truck. But um, with that being said, let's, um, let's just get inside the truck and have a moment of silence. A moment of silence for the truck, but not only that, a moment of silence for the MPGs that I'm now getting with this truck. As I said that, they went down. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm about to like Go off the sidewalk here. Oh no. Hey, with some smooth sailing. Now, this modification will be linked down below in the description. If you're interested, there you go. But if you're not, maybe this video will interest you. I have seen a lot of people do this modification. It's one of those things that some people say it's like a must do right, right away. Now, kind of have a theme going on on the outside of the truck currently. I want to keep that theme inside. So I want to go above and beyond. So with that being said, we have an overlay mod today. So we're inside now because uh, I'm not that good with power tools. We already know this, it's no surprise. But adding power tools plus rain and electricity, they don't mix too well. And then adding a bozo like me. So with all that being said, let's get started. So yes, that's right. We're gonna do the steering wheel cover. A lot of people say, oh, a lot of people say this is like one of the first, geez, the week. A lot of people say this is one of the first modifications you should do. Black out everything and make it all well, blacked out. Now that's a very good tip if you're trying to black out your truck, but we are, we're going a little bit crazy. So this is where the power tools come along. Honestly, it's good that Walmart has tools like this that are so inexpensive until they get in the hands of someone like me. I've only done bad things with this, the Viper cut. Um, yeah, that was not a good idea. I needed the Viper cut to be done. I didn't need it to be done. I told Sandy I needed it to be done. So hopefully she's not watching this video. She still to this day thinks that I'm gonna do the Viper cut on this truck. I don't know how to explain to her that I didn't need to. I probably wouldn't have done it and I would have gone a different way about fixing the rub on the truck. But um, since Walmart had this tool for like 20 beans, you know, I had to pick it up. Also, I don't know why I keep saying beans as it's not a form of currency here in the US of A. Bada bing, bada bing. This table is usually used to charge phones and watches and stuff. It's happened many times before and it probably will happen again. I forget to plug in the cables and then we plug in our phones and our Apple watches and then the next day they're not charged. And yes, I've gotten in trouble multiple times for doing this. All right, so if you don't know what's going on already, we're following the black and chrome theme. So I wanna do half of it black, half of it chrome. We're gonna match the same passenger side being black and driver side being chrome. Now I really only have one shot at this, so Oh, wow, that, that didn't hit me until now. Um, geez, I really don't want to mess this up. Oh, geez, Louise, this is on max power. Okay, uh, two. Uh, hey. What are you doing? Cutting something. Okay, I'll be honest, it's not, uh, not going as planned. Kind of, sort of. I think once it's on the truck, it'll look a lot better. So let me sand this down a little bit and make it look a lot cleaner. All right, so that's what we're looking like. I'm thinking there's gonna be a little bit more chrome than black, but who likes being blacked out anyways? What should I do now? Oh, oh come on, Mike, don't play me like that. Let's go with the choppy side first. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot more chrome sticking out. Ah, uh, am I bothered? Whoa. It's actually like perfect. Okay, there's an edge where I can probably cut my whole hand off, but it's perfect. Um, give, give me one second. Oh, that's more than one second, Aang. Oh, you owe me a pizza. Yeah, well, guess what, Billy Bob Joe? I'm spending all my money on mods, so I can't buy you pizza right now, okay? I just peeled the little strippy thing off of it. Now all we have is, well, half of a Toyota emblem. I'm doing this with one hand, so if I mess up, I will definitely blame YouTube. What do you think? I'm in love. I think it looks absolutely sick. I don't know. 
I think it looks pretty cool. Now again, the reason I'm doing this is because I want this theme to go throughout the whole truck. Most of these things are already chrome. Most people don't even realize it, but I do need a black V's out. Now I know there's a company, Ramaron, shout out to you, that um, that does these black overlays. Oh, uh, I may be reaching out, maybe getting in touch. So let me know down below in the comment sections, what do you guys think? Was this a fail or was this a success? Going with the theme, of the truck of course with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like a comment and a subscription this will be linked down below in the description if you are interested and i think they sell the whole piece not it cut in half so with that being said it's been your boy i'm out like an audi i'll see you tomorrow Cinco de malo peace i don't know why i showed you guys my fingers like that i'm so sorry i apologize <laughs>